In problem five, we're going to look at the same function that we did in problem two, except now we're going to find some additional pieces of information, namely the vertex and the axis of symmetry. So the coefficients are the same as what we had before, negative three for A, negative two for B, and zero for C. I'm going to leave my graph that I had before because we're going to add to it with this additional information. First thing then is to determine the coordinates of the vertex. The vertex is an ordered pair, so the first thing we're going to find is the x-coordinate of the vertex. To do that, we're going to use the coefficients we found in the first part, and we're going to set up the ratio negative b divided by 2a. Now in this particular problem, there's a lot of negatives, so you're going to want to keep everything straight. The first negative comes from the negative in negative b over 2a. B itself is negative and A is negative, so this is what your initial setup should look like. If I simplify, I've got negative 2 and a negative 3. Those two negatives are going to become positive, so my result is going to be negative because of the negative out front. So that's this part here. 2 divided by 2 is 1, so I'm left with 1 in the top and 3 in the bottom. So I have the negative one third. If I get a decimal for that, that's going to be negative 0 0.3. Therefore, we have found the x-coordinate of our vertex. We can write that in up here. Negative, and we can just put 0.3, and I'm going to leave a comma and a parenthesis because now we're going to find the y-coordinate. To find the y-coordinate, we want to evaluate the function f at the x-coordinate, which was negative 0.3. Let's do that over here on the calculator screen. So that's going to be negative 3, parentheses, negative 0.3, and parentheses, squared, minus 2, parentheses, negative 0.3, and then enter. So we get 0.33. I'm going to go ahead and round that to 0.3 just to keep it in line with our first result. That is the y value of our vertex. And up here in my ordered pair, I'm just going to put 0.3. Now if I want to put that on my graph, it's going to be that point right there. So after plotting the vertex on your graph, Go ahead and label it, negative 0.3, 0.3. And the vertex in this case, because the parabola opens down, that's the highest point on the parabola. So there are no other points higher than the vertex. Now the next thing we're going to do is to identify the axis of symmetry equation. This is a vertical line that cuts that parabola in half. It's going to have the equation x equals the x-coordinate of the vertex. So what I've done here is I've drawn a vertical line going right through the vertex. That's going to cut the parabola in half. The equation of that line is x equals negative 0.3. That's the x-coordinate of the vertex. I've identified this as the axis of symmetry.